Yo guys, what is going on? Matt here, and welcome back to another episode of Mac Money on MLB 15 The Show on the PS4, now in 60 FPS for the first time. It has been a while. Last two months of the season, not gonna waste any of your time. Let's get into it. Here we go, PNC Park Braves and Pirates as the Braves looking for their 71st win of the season. Matt coming in to this one with 20 homers and a very good average and he might help it here with a pretty deep fly ball into right. It's going to be caught so he'll be retired. Nothing there for Mac, and he'll get 11 points for the at-bat. Next at-bat, Mac up. Braves up 2-0 here in the 8th. Base is empty, 2 outs. 1-2 pitch is hit. Up the middle. Pass the diving shortstop. And Mac is on first with a single. So really nice job there as he gets the base hit. And 11 points. Braves beat the Pirates. 2-1. Blue to Heron with the win. Mac goes 1-4 for four in this outing. Sim forward a couple of days over to guess what? The Philadelphia Phillies series in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Before we start, we get a little spotlight here as Mac is entering this one with a 10 game hitting streak. We'll see if he can improve on that today as the Braves are looking pretty good. The top of their division looking to clinch it up here as we get into the later stages of August. So here we go, game number two. Here at Citizens Bank Park, this time against the Phillies who are Almost the opposite direction of the Braves. However, they're up 7-0. Mac is in right, and he doesn't have a chance on this one. This one is long gone, and that is a home run for the Phillies. Remember a few days ago, the Yankees put up 11 in one inning against the Rangers? Well, um, this is about what happened to the Braves. Yes, the Braves, who are much better than the Phillies, are losing 10-0. However, they're all-star and possibly the MVP of their season. Mac Money does not care. He gets a base hit, 12 points for the at-bats, and he now leads the National League in base hits. So, he continues to roll, however, the Braves do not. It's now 11-1 in the eighth, and Mac is still tacking on hits. Advances the runner now from first to third. He'll try for second on the throw to third, and he will make it. So, 17 points there for Mac. And he's rolling here in this one. However, Braves do not as a team. And they lose this one 11-2. Trevor Cahill with the win. Matt came with the loss. Matt goes 2-4 for four with two singles and a run. Send forward a little further. And we're headed to the Bronx. Yankee Stadium here in New York. Yankees, 69 wins. Braves, 83 wins. And here comes Mac Money. 28 homers hitting 333 with 106 RBIs. That is a lot. Runner on second out in the first one out. And Mac is hitting this one into right field. That is trouble. Mac is headed over to second. And he has himself a stand up RBI double. Next at Mac is hitting this one into right field. And that is another base hit. He tries to go to second here but thinks better of it. And he'll head over back to first. But nevertheless, he is on fire. Top two average leaders in the National League belong to the Braves, Russell and Money, who's now hitting 333 thanks to that hit. Now, eighth inning. Yankees up 4-3. Base is empty. Mac is going to hit this one over to short. Can he beat it out? Yes, sir. He does that on the one hopper and gets the base hit and 14 points for the at-bat. After this one is over, Braves lose again, 4-3. So they are struggling here a little bit in the end of August as we head into the month of September. Sitting forward now, all the way forward. First home game of the episode here at Turner Field in Atlanta as the Marlins are in town taking on the Braves, looking for their 87th win of the season. They will be taking on Jose Fernandez, and Mac Money now has himself a five-game hitting streak. Hitting 342, 30 homers, and 112 RBIs. First inning action. Base is empty, two outs, a one pitch to Mac, and he's in that one over to third. Should be an easy play, and it is. Mac Money is retired. In the outfield now, trying to make the catch, and he does just that. It's a nice feeling there from Mac, trying to keep his team in this game as Paxton is on the mound, and now he has a 1-0 lead to help out. Mac trying to make that more, but he doesn't. 
He's retired once again, this time to second, and he will get 12 points for the at-bat. After it's all said and done, Braves finally back in the win column. 2-0 your final score. Paxton with the win. Matt goes 0 for 3. First time this episode, he was held hitless. So we'll see most of the month. We did play a few games here, but I want to get to the important one. Folks, look at this. Last game of the season, and look at the standings. Nationals and Braves will go at it in the final game of the season to determine who wins the division. So here we go. At home, in Atlanta, last game of the season. Winner will move on. Okay. This may be Mac Money's biggest game of his career. Will he perform? Well, we'll find out shortly. Gio Gonzalez and Matt Kane going at it. And here we go. Mac in the field, top of the first. Every run counts. Makes the catch. Nice job there. Throws it to the cutoff man, keeps the runner at first. Like what we see there. Eight points for the fielding opportunity. Next at bat, 0 for 1 so far. 3-0 Atlanta with a runner on second, trying to make it 4-0 here with a RBI single, but he's gonna take this one deep into center. Desmond Jennings going back, and that ball is history. Did you think we were gonna leave the episode without a home run? Well, think again. A two-run shot for Mac Money makes it 5-0 here in Atlanta, and that is a huge hit for Mac Money and the Braves. So later on in the game, bottom of the fourth, runner on first with two outs. Mac trying to tack on to this 5-0 lead. Here's the pitch from Gonzalez, and once again, Mac hits it deep in the center field. Same result. Jennings can't do anything about it. Mac is just crushing him to center, and it is 7-0. Unbelievable, two homers here in this do or die game, last game of the season, Mr. Clutch, the MVP of the Brave season, Mac Money, had to come through big today, and he does just that. Two two-run shots into center, and folks, that's going to do it for Gio Gonzalez's day. He gives up seven runs, and two of them were two-run shots. I should say four of them were two run shots from Mac Money. And when it's all said and done, the Braves are victorious. They win this one 10 to 3. Mac goes 3 for 5 with two two run shots, four ribeyes. And guess what, folks? Yep, you guessed it. He's your player of the game. So, can't really ask for much of a better way to end the regular season than this. The Braves knew they were making the playoffs but they really wanted to win the division. And if they wanted to do that, they had to win today against the Nationals. And they did just that. Huge victory for the Braves. They win it. They have a 98 and 64 record and they will be moving on to the NLDS against the Pittsburgh Pirates. So the Nationals and Pirates went at it in the wild card game and the Pirates prevailed. So no more are the Nationals and this is the first time in Mac Money's career that he is making the playoffs. The most successful year he's had. In fact, there's so many good things to talk about of this season. Before we get to the playoffs, I'm going to have one more Mac Money episode just purely going on what happened this past season. A season recap of Mac Money and only him coming up next as the Braves are in the playoffs. They made it. 98 wins gets them to the NLDS against the Pirates. I will see you next game, folks.